Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I figured today we'd take a look at uh, some of the painted turtles I have. There are four different subspecies of painted turtle in North America. I have, I'm lucky enough, I have three of them um, here. So we'll, we'll look at these three. Something you'd never see out in the wild. Here you have the Western Painted Turtle on the bottom, the Southern Painted Turtle in the middle, and the Eastern Painted Turtle on the top. So the first one I have here is the Southern Painted Turtle. This is actually the smallest in size of all the Painted Turtles. And at least the easy way to tell them, besides their small size too, is they have this uh, dorsal coloration uh, on their on their carapace going down along their shell right uh, this is a, a, a southern species tends not to have any coloration underneath I don't have a lot of the southern painted turtles they do overwinter here in New England though another painted turtle not native to where I'm at in, in the Northeast is the western painted turtle. This actually becomes the largest of the painted turtles, uh, largest in size. The way you can tell that, at least when they're, when they're younger, is they have this really remarkable red plastron with this uh, strange, you know, uh, patterning underneath. They tend to be more uh, green, and then they're, in their face, their coloration, they have a lot of yellow, yellow stripes. Um, these are uh, very hardy, easy to um, tolerate the winters in the Northeast. I have lots of these. You've probably seen them in other, in other videos. The most widespread of them, of the painted turtles is the uh, common painted turtle. This is the, the subspecies that is native to where I'm at. This is one of them. Um, they tend to be black. Um, they don't have any uh, patterning underneath, and usually a lot of red, a lot of red on their on their edges of their shell. Painted turtles are the most widely distributed aquatic turtle in North America, and easily the most abundant. Studies have shown that there can be over 2,000 painted turtles per pond acre. Despite being an aquatic species, these animals have well-documented overland interpond movements. Some traveling over three kilometers in between ponds. My professional research recently has been investigating the role that eastern painted turtles have in transporting the seeds of aquatic plants within and between ponds. My studies have concluded that large numbers of seeds of a bunch of different aquatic plants have passed through these turtles and when they pass through they still remain viable. So no doubt painted turtles are responsible, at least in part, in helping new plants arrive to different ponds and bodies of water. There's always something you should know.